Hello everyone, today's build is going to be very similar to the other lock and key video, except this one is completely hidden. There's nothing at all to see from the outside of it. So let's run over here, you see I'm holding my key, drop it on that dirt marked by the flower and it just disappears. Wait a minute, and there you go. Opens our hidden base, get our key back and it seals it up, and we have all our hidden treasures buried in this mountain where nobody would ever find them. You know, you can also use it for faction servers, any kind of PvP servers, or just if you want to have somewhere to hide your stuff. So, I'll be showing you how to build that today. And if you want a lock and key for your house, but you don't need it to be completely hidden, I suggest you use the other video because it's just going to be a little simpler than this one. So first I'll show you how to build the exact one I used in the tutorial, or the demonstration I should say, and then I'll show you how to build one in my bare redstone map so you can see kind of the naked redstone up. So first we'll build the door. This is going to be the same door I used in the one choice machine video. Just three sticky pistons uh, powered by the torch, the block on top of the torch, and then redstone on top of that block. And then we will use the sorter to turn off that torch, but that comes next. So let's just finish this door here. There you go, that's the whole door finished. And then seal it up so you won't see it when you walk in. And then those sticky pistons will pull this dirt. And there you go, you can't see anything so far. So then we'll go back in here, and you see if we t if we remove this torch, the door opens up, and if the torch is on, the door is closed. So what we want to do is make it so that torch can be turned off remotely. And to do that, what we're going to do is make the lock and key, just like in the other video, by making a sorter that sorts for unique items and drains into a dispenser, and then when that dispenser has an item in it, it'll unlock the door. So let's put our dispenser first. Uh, let's see, we want it somewhere right next to where you walk in. Uh, we're going to have to have some stairs. Let's see. Well, I'll put it here for now. Might move it later. But we need to connect it to somewhere. Um, we'll put it a little further back here, actually. We need to put a comparator connected to the dispenser, and then have that comparator turn off the torch when there's an item in the dispenser. So once you have your dispenser in place, the next thing you have to do is make the sorters, or the hoppers, that lead into your dispenser. So first we're going to pick... Where this block right here is the one we're going to throw our key on. So put your hopper, your main hopper, one block below whatever block you want to throw your key on. And then right underneath the block where your key is going, just put a uh, minecart with a hopper just like that. What that does is minecarts with hoppers can suck items right through a block. So once that's placed in the correct area, we need to connect the hoppers to the dispenser. And we might need to move these later, move them a little bit, but this is just so we have an idea what we're working with. And then on this second hopper here, not the one that the minecart hopper is on top of, but the one that that one leads into, you want to turn that one into a sorter. And in this case, I'm going to be using sorter B from my sorter video. This, and I'll link that sorter video in an annotation on screen here, as well as in the description, so you can watch that video if you don't know how to build sorters already. But basically how it works is it only sorts for a unique item, in this case, we're going to name that item, so it'll really work like a key or like a password. And then when that item passes through the sorter, it goes into the dispenser, and that unlocks the door. So we're taking advantage of this item sorter to make the lock part. So that's our whole sorter mechanism right there. So the next thing we need to do is connect this dispenser to that torch, so when there's an item in that dispenser, it turns off the torch. And to do that, we're going to set a comparator up on the dispenser like this, and then we'll need to put a repeater into that, because the signal strength will be very weak otherwise, because a uh, comparator measures how many items, not just whether there's an item, it's not just a yes or no thing. So I'll speed this part of the video up, it's, it's just me connecting the redstone to a point where it turns off the torch. So now you see, if we put something, anything, in this dispenser, it'll open up our door. And so the last thing we need to do is set it up so it sorts only for a specific item, which in this case will be your key slash password. So open up that sorter hopper and fill that with 22 of your key slash password item. I'm just using a tripwire hook renamed as key. So there you go, just like that, total 22. And you see if we put 23 in, it passes into this dispenser and opens up that door. So I'll just put the finishing touches on this here, like a pressure plate to return your key automatically. Right there next to the dispenser, I uh, will put some stairs since it's on a lower level here. So you'll see if we step on the pressure plate, it returns your key and locks the door automatically. 
So the last thing we need to do is seal this up so it looks uh, totally hidden. Can't see anything. No indication that anybody built here. Really good. There you go. And now it's just a totally natural looking hillside. Uh, we'll mark it with a flower just so we know where to drop our key. You don't have to do that. Um, I did it just so I would know where to put my key. So let's test this out. Throw a key at the flower. And there you go. It opens right up. So the last thing you want to do is make an exit. Now you could do an exit by a logout evader, uh, where you open up a trap door and leave and rejoin the server. That would be more secure, but it's not as convenient. So what you probably want to do is set up a button to turn off that torch. So we're going to reposition the torch here just to make it easier. Uh, let's see. Could put it there. So the torch is in the same spot, it's just connected to a different block. <clears throat> and that block is easier to connect a button to. So then the last thing we need to do is uh, rewire that redstone which connects to the dispenser, the, well, the redstone that's part of the block. So I'll fast forward through that. I'm just making it so this redstone connects to the torch and turns it off. And now you see if we put any item in this, it opens that door up again. So this is working like we want it to. Seal this wall back up, put our stairs back, and cut the button out. There you go. Nice easy exit button. So here's the rebuild of the thing on the redstone world. I'm going to fast forward through this just because I think you probably already understand it. This is just so you can see how it all lays out without being inside of a mountain, basically. So I won't fast forward through it too quickly. So while this is running through its, uh, through its course, you guys should comment and let me know what you want to see for future videos. Do you want to see auto generators, like auto farms? Do you want to see more explosives? I can do airstrikes or you know landmines. Do you want to see more redstone contraptions? Uh, I'm sure I could think of more of those to do. Uh, comment and let me know what you guys want to see for future videos and future tutorials. So we'll build the sorter here. Same sorter I used for the one in the demonstration part. And again, these, the sorter video is linked in the description. And we have our minecart hopper inside of there so it doesn't roll away and so it can suck items up. Use regular tripwire hooks for this part of the demonstration. And now we need to connect this with some redstone. Make it so it powers the torch off. This takes a little differently, actually. There you go, perfect. And now you see if there's anything in that dispenser, it'll open up the door. So let's test that. And there you go, it works. There's all the naked redstone of it. Pressure plate to return our key, and it shuts it back up. Test it one more time. And it works perfectly. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for new tutorials every Wednesday and Sunday. I'd also do mini build Mondays. Thank you for watching.